Hello to all you healthy blood pressure warriors. My name is David Fry, and I want to welcome you to the HealthyBloodPressure.com channel. Do you deal with high blood pressure? Then you may already be aware of the external factors that make it worse. Factors such as stress, smoking, salt intake, lack of exercise, and poor diet are some of these factors. But have you ever wondered what determines your blood pressure internally in your body? In a perfectly functioning body, blood flows smoothly everywhere, and your heart is healthy, happy, and at ease. It pumps out blood normally, and your blood pressure readings are okay. But certain internal functions in your body could change, which could result in increasing your blood pressure. So in this video, I'm going to talk about five internal factors that affect your blood pressure. And the first factor is your heart's output. Your performance at work or school is measured by your output or your work rate. Similarly, your heart also has an output known as cardiac output. It's measured as the volume of blood that your blood pumps out through the ventricles every minute. Ventricles are at the bottom chambers of the heart that send out blood to the lungs and the rest of the body. There's also a mathematical formula for cardiac output. It's heart rate multiplied by stroke volume. Heart rate is the speed at which the heart beats in a minute. And stroke volume is the blood flowing out from the left ventricle of the heart in every beat. Now, any factor that raises the heart rate of the stroke volume raises the cardiac output. And when cardiac output increases, blood pressure rises to increase the flow of blood. So that's the first factor, your heart's output. Now, the second factor is the resistance of your blood vessels. Think of your blood vessels as balloons. When you increase the flow of air in a balloon, it smoothly expands to hold in the extra air. The same is true for your blood vessels. If there is extra blood flow, your vessels expand to ensure all the blood gets to flow smoothly. Thus, the resistance of your blood vessels in healthy conditions is fairly low. But in the case of certain illnesses or age, your vessels may become tight. Their resistance increases and they're unable to hold more blood when it tries to flow through. And this is when your heart has to pump extra hard to ensure all the blood that your organs need flows through your blood vessels. And this process increases your blood pressure. So that is the second factor, the resistance of your blood vessels. Now the third factor is the amount of blood flowing through your body. When there's a lot of blood flowing through your body, your veins are a bit overworked. They begin to return more and more blood to the atria. The atria are the upper chambers of the heart that allow the blood to come in from the veins. This increased blood flow also stretches the atria and blood pressure begins to rise. Your heart then sends messages throughout your body that it has to be on high alert. And this is called sympathetic stimulation. And the process also increases your heart rate. So that's the second internal factor, the amount of blood flowing through your body. The third internal factor is your blood's thickness. In general, human blood is quite thick. It's about five times thicker than water. And so it takes longer to flow through the body than water would have done. But even the thickness of the blood can vary from person to person. This depends on a lot of factors. And some of these factors include the proteins in your plasma and how well your red blood cells can change shape during the flow of blood. And if the blood is very thick, it flows slowly through your vessels. And this is a concern for your heart because it's the heart's job to make sure all your cells get enough blood and get it on time. So it begins to work harder to push the thick blood through your vessels, and this increases your blood pressure. So that is the fourth factor that affects your blood pressure, your blood's thickness. Now, 
The fifth factor and final factor that affects your body's internal blood pressure is the elasticity of your blood vessels. Another characteristic of the blood vessels that affects your blood pressure is the elasticity of its walls. The arteries that carry blood from your heart have highly elastic walls. And when the blood flows through them, they expand and then contract again after the blood has passed. But certain illnesses may reduce this elasticity. Then the arteries aren't able to carry enough blood at one go. So your heart has to pump faster and increase the stroke volume. And when stroke volume increases, blood pressure goes up as well. So that is the fifth internal factor in your body that affects your blood pressure. Your blood pressure depends on many bodily functions. Factors such as the amount of blood flow and its thickness affect the blood pressure. And so do the health of your vessels and the work rate of your heart. Knowing how these parameters work can help you understand your blood pressure better. You should continue to regulate the external factors to keep your blood pressure in check, but you can now relate to how these changes internally affect your heart health and your blood flow. Hi there, if you suffer from high blood pressure like I do, and you wanna receive my educational videos about how to lower your blood pressure, I'd like to ask you to do three simple things right now. Number one, click the subscribe button right there. And then number two, click on the bell icon right down there so that I can notify you the moment I release a new video. And number three, watch another one of my more popular healthy blood pressure videos right over there. Okay, thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.